Let's get getting calls from the bank. My mother's on the phone to the bank. I can hear the person on the other end of the phone? The bank. Only fans. It's about only fans. And I'm so excruciatingly embarrassing. Following Chris's suit, Alan signed up to OnlyFans. Though modest, he was initially excited about joining in and exploiting his hot, young body for cash. But no one engaged in the first week, so he rage quit. I've taken down all my OnlyFans content now anyway. No one was, no one donated. No one commented on any of my content or anything. All week and no one commented or anything. So it was a fucking waste of time. Practically becoming a fucking porn star. And you must know. I guess I'll just say everything now, I don't care. I'm trying all day to put it on, on her. I wouldn't have felt confused for some reason. Signing up to looking up escort sites, looking up how to be a gay porn star. All that embarrassing shit. I'd want two responses, but for the different ugly old men. Not independent business, but just asking how big is it? Just have to demean the little myself. Nothing. I'm gonna die alone. No one wants anything to do with me. Everyone's laughing at me. The YouTubers making fun of me. I don't make good content. I don't make people happy. I don't make people laugh. I don't make people feel appreciated. I might pull him up, he's up there now, so we can... <laughs> yeah, horrible people like trophy munchers and hiding in my room and they well, it's just one of this. Have a bit of it. Everyone sees my dick, everyone sees my ass, everyone sees me crying my ass. This is attractive, isn't it? So this, that's cut, these rests, come on. <coughs> you want to make me happy? Get rid of all the content about me, all the people have posted. Isn't that funny? It's out there forever. I'm going to get a job interview. Two weeks into the job. Someone will find a fucking video of me checking off or some shit. I wish Chris had made only fans. That really bothered me. That upset me. So, believe it or not, I don't want to see him degrade himself. I don't want to see him naked. I don't want to do that to myself. But he's done it so. I'm asking you all now to block me. Please. Don't subscribe to me. Don't follow me. Don't message me. Eight people watching. Yay. Really tough for me to have a breakdown for doing. While live streaming, Alan spends much of the time bemoaning that he doesn't get more subscribers. And that those watching aren't talking enough. There are ten people watching. Why don't ten people talk? See that lately, you know, kind of bothers me. You know, like five people watching and then one person talks. I have eleven people watching and then one person talking. He goes on to berate his most loyal supporters for being boring. Then you have comments shut off. Sound isn't much better. You just said it was. In your mind. Or are you just trying to annoy me? I wanna block you all, but I'm not going to. Oh Patonus. Um here. Yeah. My parents are actually gone for two weeks, not a week. So you know when you stayed here for a week and then you left, they were still gone for a, they were still gone for a week. I just didn't want your company. Okay? I find you boring. I'm honest. Connor, you're not that fun to talk to. I'm sorry. But it's like talking to a wall. What follows is disturbing footage of a prolonged and brutal attack against me. But first, 
a message from our sponsor. Ultravolix Plus, dietary supplements. Now with 20% more bromine. Detox all that globalist soy and get swole for the Civil War. Become the alpha chad your ancestors hoped you'd be. See results in as little as one week. Head on over to the Farsha Nuke online store today and use the code Default Allen to get your discount. Side effects may include. Uh, if you talk about bouncy marks, talk about that. Hey, I mean, it deserves a bit of a mention, I suppose. We'll talk about it too much. Um, yeah, go and look at Bouncy Max. Go subscribe to him. He's got videos about me. Oh, he might not be there, I don't know. I don't watch his channel. I watch the videos about me. I watch one or two of them, but I haven't seen his channel in I don't know long. Since Chris made the video about him. I didn't ask Chris to make a video about him, and I wish he hadn't. Um, I don't know why he's come for me. I don't know why he targets me the way he did. I think he initially made out you were trying to be my friend. I think you weren't trying to be my friend. Um, I imagine it's probably just some 16-year-old or uh, young kid, someone young, immature, who thinks it's funny to like demean and develop people with problems. You can clear you carry this for some time now. This isn't new information. You can tell them suffering, you can tell them struggling, you can tell them not doing one. You just think it's good to make fun. You don't care, care about the consequences. You don't care about other people. You don't care about other people's lives. You can't make content on your own merit. You use a lot of big words to make yourself sound good. You have a few little fans. Um, mm, yes, yes, I enjoy seeing him sound. This is delightful. Absolutely wrong. I do not delight in Alan's suffering or depression. I valiantly point out where he is full of shit. I know he's full of shit because so many of us are full of similar shit. Growing up and gaining wisdom is a process of unpacking and unclogging that shit. Pandering and coddling him with platitudes only serves to enable and deepen his neurosis. I'm probably the best friend Alan has got. My forthright appraisals show more compassion and altruism than the self-serving avoidances of those around him. Especially his parents, who seem more wrapped up in their own bickering than in the mental health of their youngest son. He deleted the videos he made on you. Okay, that, that doesn't mean anything now. In the end, at the end of the day. It doesn't mean shit. Because it can just, just as easily apologize again. Doesn't matter, he did it. The fact that he did it. When have I ever made a video? When have I ever taken anyone's content and passed it off as my own? I've never uploaded someone else's video. And I've never targeted someone in the video like saying, oh, I really hate I don't know, PewDiePie or something. I transform Alan's content, like water into wine, for the purposes of commentary, criticism and parody. Allowed under fair use copyright. Sure, I can't say cool, you know. can't say anything bad about me. I didn't say anything bad about you. Doesn't even want doesn't even want talking about more pathetic than me, I'm not saying that. I won't say that much. Now I'm really hating on the top right now, but they're more pathetic than me. I don't know much. This all started basically with the channel I'm not gonna say the channel's name. I don't think there's any point. Another YouTuber, this all started when another YouTuber thought it would be appropriate to take my content, upload it to their channel, and use it as some kind of case study to observe my behaviour in the fact that I don't have a job. I have never mentioned his joblessness. And I'm very isolated and secluded and reclusive and I don't have a social life. I have never mocked his reclusiveness or loneliness moral misrepresentation of facts to leverage victimhood, and to avoid addressing the dysfunction of his attitude. But yeah, ever since that kind of happened, things have gotten steadily worse. My relationships with people have broken down a lot. Yeah, it's all my fault. Alan's crises and relationship breakdown started way before I got involved. He'll probably go on to say that he's not the kind of person to blame others for his problems. Ever since I found out they were just taking my content, using it as some kind of study, making it out like it was a game, really, and using a lot of big words to try and 
make them sound better or something. Try and make me sound unintelligent. I don't see how my eloquence makes Alan look unintelligent. I mean to be understood. I don't like using the virus as an excuse. He does it all the time. And I'm always, um, I'm always one, I'm never to blame other people, it's always my fault. There it is. The issue lies with me, basically. I'm not one to, like, deflect blame onto other people. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. The reflections. No. And then the thing with the person taking my videos and using me as, like, kind of a study happened. And that made me really sort of look into myself, really question my abilities. Made me feel kind of unimportant. Made me feel like I don't matter. I pour over his videos with a fine tooth comb. Isn't that just the kind of attention he craves? To matter? And it just makes me, made me question myself a lot. Who wants to watch my content? It made me feel a bit worthless. I want your guys' advice. If you want to say horrible things about me, go right ahead. If you want to say constructive things, go right ahead. You know, whatever you want to say, go ahead and say it. I want, I want long paragraphs. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but in like a week or so. I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go,